this lawnmower has been excellent it is what nine years old um, but I have a young man as young men seem to do sometimes they run over things and because he's ran something over a couple times this engine is not working very well it's now uh, backfiring and it uh, pulls so bad when you try and start it that it actually will hurt your hand or hurt your wrist we're gonna fix this Briggs and Dratton engine today Boy, that thing is due for a cleaning. All right, that's better now. We can see what we're working with. And if I can't fix it, at least it'll go to the dump clean. This next part takes a 5 16 Feels like it's still hooked on someplace. Let's see. figure out where that's still hooked on at. Did I tell you you weren't getting an expert here, just a normal dude fixing stuff? Well, that's what you got, so I'm problem solving it with you. Maybe that's fun, maybe that annoys you, I don't know. Maybe go to someone else who knows more about these things, but sometimes I think it's helpful to watch people problem solve, so when you do it yourself, it um, kind of makes you better at it. But I believe to get this top part off here, since these are rivets, we have to take these out over here, all the way around here. Up, I'm pointing, but you can't see here, here, uh, back here, and we might have to take this one off too with that um, oil place there. So we've got those two out here and here, and we'll keep working our way around and getting the rest of those out. All the screws are out, and now we should be able to take this, lift this up and off here so we can get this off. I think when we do, this is going to come loose from down here. It's going to be oil area. Yeah. Ooh, that's dry in there. So we want to be careful um, not to get anything down there in that oil hole. And with that oil spout off, the whole part just lifts right up off of there and now we have our flywheel which is where I think we're gonna find the root of our problem so I can already see I'm gonna have to find something to get that loose I don't know if I have anything big enough that might be a hitch in my giddy up I got in the zone got this 15 16 uh, socket so you need this to complete this project the pros will tell you to disconnect your spark plug wire for safety purposes but um yeah i mean the engine wouldn't start as it is so i doubt it's going to start when i'm trying to fix it but you know just to be on the safe side go ahead and unplug that it took a little effort but i got it just remember to uh put you a piece of wood underneath here to stop your blade from turning because the blade wants to turn while you're loosening this all right we got this cup Put it aside. Now that we get the cup off, you can see the problem. So there is the flywheel key, and it is sheared off. It's supposed to be in here, and it has sheared off completely, and that's what's causing the lawnmower to pull back uh, to the point that it's dangerous and to backfire a lot and to not run well. This reads use a wheel puller or flywheel puller to remove. But we don't have one of those, so we're not gonna do that. Since we don't have a flywheel puller, what we're gonna do is use this <clears throat> pry bar. You wanna find a pretty solid spot because you're gonna pry pretty hard and you don't wanna bend anything that doesn't wanna be bent. So what we're gonna do is pry this and then hit this with the hammer at the same time so that the vibrations uh, will knock this flywheel loose. And you wanna make sure you have the brake disengaged. You can see I've got the brake bungeed together so it's disengaged which will allow the flywheel to pop off i don't think i can film this while i do it but um i will try and describe what happens after i do it again i'm going to press with this and hit here which is the crankshaft top of the crankshaft with the hammer while i'm pulling up and see if we can't break it loose well folks that worked this uh flywheel popped off of there just a uh, didn't, didn't really have to hit the crankshaft too hard, which is good. You don't want to damage it. And this came off there, just kind of slightly broke loose, and I was just able to pick it up, which was cool. 
And then you can see here where the key, flywheel key has sheared off. It's laying right there. Um, yeah, that's a mess. Just able to take this screwdriver right here and it just kind of fell out of there. You can see it sitting right there. So that's good. And now we need to go online and figure out exactly what flywheel key we need to order to fix this. You'll need to find your part number on your lawnmower. It's usually in one of three places, like above the muffler or in the front, or in this case, it's stamped in this metal. So we're gonna take this part number inside and then hopefully be able to go on Amazon and order the right flywheel key replacement. I'm taking the flywheel, setting it down where the groove here lines up with the groove in the crankshaft. And then I'm dropping this flywheel key down to these grooves. And then I'll use a screwdriver to push it down in there just a little bit farther. It doesn't go very much farther. Okay, and we should be able to put the cup on and start putting it back together. That's slipping because my piece of wood is letting the blade turn. So you want to make sure your piece of wood's in the right place before you start to tighten it. Got the blade blocked. Going to finish tightening it. Not blocked all the way, evidently. Does anybody else remember uh, or which parts go on next? I don't remember. I'm going to have to go back and watch my own video. So we're going to set this shroud back down on here. Okay. Put our oil dipstick back in place, and we'll start putting our screws in. On my model, the longer screws go on front. Spark plug back on. Shorter screws on the sides. Just so we're clear, people that use drills to put these back in are, are cheating. Real men or women use a good old fashioned ratchet. Oil filler uses one of these shorter screws that comes off the plastic. Time for a pro tip and pay attention because I don't really have very many. Uh, you want to go ahead and get these screwed in this plastic part because it will make the gas tank part line up a lot easier for you to uh, get that together. It kind of holds it in place in the right spot. So you just watched me fix this lawnmower. It has not been started since last November. My wife is back this way. So I'm hoping it's gonna start with one pull because that would be really cool. Um, 
but if it doesn't that's okay and if it doesn't start at all i'll just delete it from the video and you'll never know <laughs> <That's a lie. laughs> Have gas.